welcome to our community. This is a social media style platform where you can share your makes, connect with other sewists, and use hashtags to explore patterns and materials. I'm Kate from Minerva, and I'll be sure to link my personal profile down below so you can follow me here as well. I'm so glad you're joining us for today's video. We are going to be looking at cotton batik, what it is, what I make with it, how it works, just some inspiration to get you interested in this beautiful fabric. Keep in mind you can use hashtags to search this fabric, and once you're on the listing, you can scroll down to see what other people have made with it. And don't forget to look into the Minerva Craft Club for constant savings. Now, if you could hit that follow button above this video right beside our name, that means we're gonna show up on your feed so you don't miss any future content. You can also like, share, and save if you enjoyed this video. It's all free and it really helps us out, so thank you. And as always, leave any comments and questions down below so I can get back to you. Now on to the batik. So this is the cotton batik that I chose. This is 100% cotton and it comes in a ton of colorways. This specific one is 107. So what batik means, you might not be sure, it just refers to a multicolored fabric based on the way it was dyed typically with wax. So they dye the fabric, they put wax on, they dye it some more, they remove the wax, and then they're left with this marbled design. Similar to the way a Ukrainian Easter egg is made. cotton lawn or a poplin. I wouldn't call it heavy, but it is not light either. I made this deer and doe fumitaire skirt with it, and it's a nice structured skirt. is incredibly easy to work with. I highly recommend it for beginners through advanced sewists. You need nothing but a simple universal needle to get you started on this fabric. It is a woven fabric so it has absolutely zero stretch and it totally stays put where you want it to go when you're sewing. make sure you check them out because they are all super interesting and beautiful. Because of the nature of the dyeing process, every piece is going to be unique, which means that you're going to have something totally different than somebody else who's ordering something of the same fabric. So they might look similar, but you'll never have the same pattern splotches. The front and 
back of this fabric are virtually indistinguishable so you can use either or. The only time this gets tricky is when you're trying to mirror things and you can't remember which way you did things. So I recommend maybe putting a piece of painter's tape or something like that on either whatever you determine to be the right or wrong side of the fabric so you can keep things straight. totally opaque and works great for a number of different garments including skirts and pants and structured tops, vests, anything like that would be perfect for this type of fabric. for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, and for being part of this community. I cannot wait to see what you create. Happy making!